Hi friends, welcome to the final video for 25 days of manga. I have been vlogging clips of opening all the gifts that most that all of you have generously sent to me over this holiday season. So that's what this video is going to be. And this will be my last video probably until January. I'm feeling a little burned out. So I'm going to give myself a break and start prepping for all of the amazing things happening in January, like channel memberships, all those kinds of things. So thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed the 25 days of manga. And I hope with all my heart that you have the best holiday season and that you've enjoyed the journey of 25 days of manga. I might still sneak in a couple videos this week, but don't count on it. I want to give myself some freedom and time. So we'll see what ends up happening. But I love you guys. Thank you for supporting this project. I will see you guys in the next one. Hi friends, Shayla here. So I'm starting off this vlog pretty early actually. So just like last year, I'm doing a vlog of when unexpected things show up for me in the mail because that usually means someone sent them. And it's November 30th upon this first clip. And I have two things here that I have no idea what they are or if I was even expecting them, especially this Amazon one because I don't have anything that was coming from Amazon except my pumps for my fancy drinks. And I know like those showed up too. So I have no idea what this is. It's very book shaped. So I'm very curious. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open these on camera. And if they're from another person, I will tell you. If not, I will plead very much to tell, to ask you to tell me who you are. Hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this, I will have found out through like Instagram or Twitter. Oh, I already knew this was coming, okay. So I had ordered this for myself and I had forgotten, but it's a new like reading list stamp to help with some ways that I'm tracking my books next year. That'll come in a future video. So I forgot that was coming, but I know what that is, but I have no idea what this is because I have, I haven't been ordering books for myself lately. I've just been very much on a low or no buy at all. I'm doing pretty much a no buy in December. So, oh my gosh. I got a glance at the book, but there's notes. Praise bless for notes. So who is this? Thank you for being such a warm and friendly person, Shay. I love seeing you post videos about manga and books, switching you the best season. Oh, this is from Kat. Kat! So she sent me Lord of Darkness by Elizabeth Hoyt. I am so excited. I've slowly been increasing my Elizabeth Hoyt collection because I really enjoy their writing. This feels big for a mass market. It feels bigger than normal, but I like it. Um, yes, I am very, very excited. So Kat, you are a very precious human. Thank you. I am so like flattered and honored that you sent this. You are the sweetest. Oh my gosh. Best surprise to kick off this season ever. So it's time for the next clip of this vlog. I had one thing I was expecting to show up. But I have two things that I was not expecting. So we're gonna open them because I'm pretty sure, well, that's something for my husband. So that one I was expecting, but it did not come how I expected it to come. But this is a gift. I got notes in here. Let's see. Merry Christmas. I hope you and your family have a wonderful time. Wishing all of us in 2021. Oh, this is from Mythic. This is from Kelly. Thank you, doll. <gasps> Yay, Victoria Alexander. Seduction of a proper gentleman. It is not the step back version, but that is totally okay. I think these covers are so sexy anyway that I'm really super excited about this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can't even. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kelly. I am so so excited. So thank you so very much. You are such a sweet and kind human. She's in my discord. By the way, my discord will be linked down below. I've been really bad about promoting my discord. So if you want to hang out, come join the discord. But yes, thank you again, Kelly. You are the sweetest. Hi friends. So a big box showed up in the mail. I think I know what's in here, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I've cut open the box. I haven't really looked at what's in here yet, but there's a cute little like pushing envelope letter. So I'm going to look at that first. 
Oh my gosh, Allie, your letter. You are so sweet. And I'm honestly gonna cry. <laughs> she sent a couple stickers as well. One says, country boy, I love you, which is so a mood for me, y'all know. And then be the light. That's so cute. And I'm, I'm gonna cry. So here we go. So what I knew was coming were volumes five through eight of Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. So here's volume five, volume six, volume seven, and volume eight. So Allie said she was getting rid of them. I talked to her about potentially buying this and another series from her. And she's like, you know, let me send you Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight for free. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the sweetest. Thank you. She's like, call it a Christmas present. And surprise, she sent me um, the other series I had inquired about. Um, it's an older series. It's out of print, I believe. And she sent me the entire series. And I just want to cry right now. Because... It is The Sacred Blacksmith. I was gifted volume one earlier this year. I read it and I loved it. And so now she sent me the rest of the series. So here's volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9, and the final volume, I believe. Yes, the final volume, Volume 10. So I, I'm a little bit floored right now. I was like, this box is really heavy. This box isn't supposed to be this heavy. I was a little confused. But now I know why, and I just want to cry so very much. <laughs> Because Allie, you are the sweetest. Her letter just talked about how she's been watching my channel for two years and just, she just wanted to give me something nice and she doesn't, you know, sell her manga to make profit or anything. And she was considering, you know, it was a little out of my price range to buy the whole lot and I really wanted the whole lot. So I'm like, ah, I better not. But she said it anyway and I just want to cry because I... I was starting to think this was a series I was never going to be able to finish and have on my shelf. And I know I shouldn't be getting emotional over this, but I am because it is such a kind gesture because she easily could have made a lot of money selling this for what it's going for. And I just want to cry so very much right now because this is an unexpected gesture that is a, ugh, I, I don't have words. And if you don't collect manga, you probably don't understand what this means to just give someone 10 volumes of a oversized manga that retails for 14 and is out of print. So certain volumes go for a lot more than that. And yeah, I just, I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to not cry right now. Um, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Allie, you are the kindest human and I, I'm really speechless. Um, thank you. Thank you for your support. Just watching my channel, let alone all of this. You are, oh, uh, you, I am without words. Thank you so much. Pardon my look and my puffy eyes. Today's been kind of a rough day. Um, it's very personal, so I'm not going to talk about why. Um, you might know by now. I mean, you guys won't see this till Christmas, but I had a pile of packages dropped on my doorstep. I wasn't expecting anything, so let's just go ahead and dive in. They're all from Amazon, so I'm assuming they're all from my wish list because y'all are just the most generous humans. Um... <laughs> so this is from Lindsay, from Lindsay Tut. And she got me a copy of Again the Magic by Lisa Kleypas. And her comment made me, like, it's great. It says, Buddy Reads for the Win from Lindsay. So, yes, we'll most likely be buddy reading this. But I'm grateful to add to my Lisa Kleypas collection. Because not all, I read something from her recently that I really enjoyed. So, I know just my first Lisa Kleypas was a bad choice. So, on to the next one. 
sorry you just went for a ride. Light Song's decided he has to scratch right now. So, more buddy reads from Lindsay. And this is An Extraordinary Union by Alyssa Cole. I've read her Reluctant Royal series and I really enjoyed it. And so I really wanted to try out her historical series. So I'm really excited to have this. And the cover is actually really textured, which is cool. I That was an unexpected little surprise on that. And then another one. Lindsay, did you just go hog wild here? So this is from Ashley. And she sent me the next two volumes of my love story, which makes my heart very happy. I can always use some sweet Takeo in my life because, man... I really love this series. Takeo's great. He's just a sweet little cinnamon roll of a human. Of a manga human, I should say. And I love this cover a whole stinking ton. It's so cute. I'm really excited to keep going with this series. All right, last one. There were four that I'll drop today. Oh. Oh. Queen Bev. <laughs> So this is from Buffy, who happens to be Lindsay's cat. I can't believe she sent me something from her cat. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, Lindsay, I can't believe. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So let me get this out of its sealed package. But this is Forbidden from Queen Bev. I believe this is from the same series that I've already started reading from. Oh, new series. So this is a different one. But I've heard amazing things about this particular one. So I have to keep that note because that is too funny. Okay, so thank you to Lindsay and Ashley. You both are adorable and amazing humans. And I love you both. This has spoiled me very much. So thank you all. Like, this is, it's just so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. Hobo Shea is back. Um, so the reason why I was so upset in the previous clip um, is probably common knowledge to most of you by now, but in case you missed it, um, my grandmother passed away of COVID in the night last night and I'm gonna miss her greatly. I hate that she went out in 2020 because of this stupid pandemic, but at the same time, she doesn't hurt anymore. She's reunited with her husband, at least I believe. And I knew before I went to sleep last night that I would wake up and she would be gone. I got to send last words and wishes and I got that closure with her. And thank you to everyone who's been reaching out. You've all been fantastic and amazing and I adore you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I did get another unexpected package from Amazon in the mail, so that's why we're doing this. Came on a good day for me mentally to have a little endorphin boost. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. They're big, whatever they are. Okay, so it looks like we've got some historical, some, some things going on here. So first up, Let's see if there's a note. Notes would be good. <laughs> Aw, they're from Tamika. Tamika, I love you. Makes my heart happy. I love Tamika. Tamika from Library of Tomes, by the way. She's a fantastic human. And by the way, in case I haven't mentioned it, anybody who sent me things that I know their handles, they're linked down below. So know that that's a thing, it's happening. <laughs> Um, so first up, she sent me Jennifer McQuiston's What Happens in Scotland. It does have a step back. Oh, lordy. It's a steamy one, too. Oh, hello. Full page. Like, we love to see it. I don't even remember what this one's about. I know it was on my list. She woke up married. When Lady Georgette Thorold awoke, she saw her corset hanging from the armoire, a very handsome, very naked Scotsman lying beside her, and a wedding ring on her finger. Okay, I don't need to know anymore. I love that trope. It's, oh, mm, I'm so excited. And then she sent me The Beast. Um, this is, I believe, book 14 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I recently picked up The Shadows, which is the book before this one that I needed. 
So now I can do my next episode of the Black Dagger Brotherhood. It'll probably be January, but I read these two at a time and I already have the other one. So this is perfect. So Tamika, you're a doll. Thank you so much, love. I know you've had a craptastic year too. So we'll just commiserate together. And I love that they came from you today. My heart is so happy. Thank you, love. Hello, I have another pile of like letters and packages. Just got home from work. Got a little haircut for myself, so I'm gonna dive into these. This is something from my friend Amanda. Um, we talk mostly on Twitter, and she's one of my fellow BTS loving friends. And she just sent me a really sweet card, so thank you, Amanda. I love that. All right, now I wasn't expecting anything from Amazon, but this showed up, so I'm gonna open it because I have no idea what this is. Their notes, notes. Let's look at notes first. Oh, it's more from Tamika. <laughs> because you won't stop making me want to buy all the manga. Oh, Tamika, I love you. Oh, it's Community to Doki Volume 4. Fantastic. I still need to track down Volume 3 so I can keep going. But yay for Volume 4. Thank you, Tamika. I love this series a lot. The anime is fantastic for this one, and it's just one of my favorites. And I just, oh, it makes my heart happy to have this. These I was expecting, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open them here. So I have a thrift work books and a better world books order. I got some used books from an author that I really enjoy. So this is stickier than I expected it to be. This is a different cover than what I had signed up for. So that kind of sucks, but it's Surrender a Dream by Jill Barnett. Jill Barnett wrote one of my favorite historicals ever. It's got kind of the purposely yellowed edges and it's a marriage of convenience kind of situation. I was really excited. The, the cover I wanted was this one. So I'm really sad that this is the cover I got, but either way, I'm excited to read it. And then if I really love it, then I can invest in the more, the bed, the, the copy that I wanted. And this one, is a very faded version of the cover I wanted, but it's at least the cover I wanted. And that's Just a Kiss Away, again by Jill Barnett. Um, this is a Pacific Island style romance, and I'm really looking forward to that. And then thrift books. I had gotten all of these through eBay, and this is how they came, so that's just what it is, and that's okay. I'm not like overly bothered by it. And then this was not the cover I wanted, but it matches my other cover, so I'm okay. And that's Dreaming, which is the sequel to um, Bewitching, which is the first book from Jill Barnett that I read and I loved. And it's a companion. Call it's a pretty roughed up copy. I mean, I've got tears and stuff in it, so that kind of sucks. But I am excited to finally get around to reading this because I really loved Bewitching, and so I really want to spend some more time. Um, this is Letitia and Richard, but yes, I'm very excited to have a copy. Again, not the copy that I thought I was getting, but I'm okay with this copy. Like, I'm not mad about this one like I was with the first one, so. Anyways, another thing that came, which I'm pretty sure this was for, I was part, I've signed up for a couple of, like, Secret Santas, and I'm pretty sure this is from the Secret Santa, and if the return address is who I think it is, then I'm legitimately excited that this person ended up being my secret Santa. So let's go ahead and open this up. Must hide addresses. Oh, it's a card, yay. And I think it's gonna, okay. Yeah, so this is from the Romance Discord Secret Santa, and this is from Jess over at Peace Love Books, which she's amazing. Again, everybody's linked down below. I'm sure I've said that like 12 times in this video already, um, but she's one of my favorite romance creators, and she's also one of the most subscribed to. She's also a teacher. She's a good human being, and she wrapped everything. Like, she went all out with this, so I'm so excited to have this it's gonna be so fun what is this <gasps> Ooh, ooh! i got stickers i love me some stickers so this says unapologetic romance reader i think these are red bubble stickers from the feel of them 
and then H-E-A all day, and then historical romance reader, which I totally am, as y'all know. I just opened a couple. And then I've got two items here. This feels like plushy, and she has um, an Etsy shop where she sells book sleeves, so I think that's what this is. Oh my gosh, it is, and I love this fabric. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I think this is just the standard book size because I have one in the um, indie size right here, the, the large size. So this is the next one down. So I think this is just like the standard size, which is a great size for like manga and stuff too. So I'm super excited. This is super cute. And then this is obviously a book from the density of it. And I'm curious as to what it is because it could be like anything. <laughs> Oh, yay! This is Deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova. This is one that I, the second I heard about it, I wanted this so very much. I'm so excited to physically own it. Like, I want to cry. Jessica, thank you. Oh my gosh. The elves come for two things, war and wives. In both cases, they come for death. Ooh. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. Um, I love fantasy romances, so like I'm screaming that I have this. So again, Jessica, thank you. Like everything is so perfect and sweet. I don't know how you figured out like my color palettes and tastes like in my house, but man, I love this so very much. And yes, so thank you again to everybody who sent me glorious things. I love them very much. And yes, though I'm sad about the one cover, I am genuinely excited to still have it to read. Hello, I am back. There was another package that was unexpected. So here we are. I have incredibly generous friends. That's all I can say right now. Ugh, struggle busting it. Glad I left my scissors right here. Notes, notes, notes from who? because I love this so much, I want you to read it as well from Lindsay. So this is from Lindsay Tut. I have a feeling as to what this is. Oh my gosh, it is. So this is The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie because she read this and loved it. And this is one that has been on my list for a little while. I've been considering picking up. I've almost picked it up like five different times. So I'm really excited to own a copy. Yay, I'm excited. Thank you, Lindsay. You have been far too generous to me and I am very 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 excited to read it. Hi friends so um today was the day of the funeral and I'm actually doing okay so I'm holding up better than I expected to be um I was actually invited to sing at her funeral and we did really well I think we got a lot of compliments from family so I think that's a pretty good sign and then um I actually didn't cry until after we were done singing and then I was able to just kind of let it all out and so it was really good. But I'm here to film this clip because I got a package. I know this is from an author so I know roughly what this is. Um, I was part of their um, campaign for their first book which was, the first book was Shadow's Hand. It's a samurai inspired series. And they invited me to be part of the campaign for the sequel, and so I'm super excited. I've heard there's like, not just the book, there's extra goodies. So I thought you guys might enjoy seeing this in this vlog. So I decided to just include it here. Oh, there's a little Christmas card um, that says Happy Holidays from the Lands of Kirikyu, um, which is, um, the land in which everything's based and yes so this is really sweet handwritten from the author and then another note from the author so inside the book here there's all the goodies that they made so we have a phantom's lament bookmark which looks all sorts of boss we love to see it and then she made some watercolored stickers of the characters in the series. And I really love how these turned out. They're fantastic. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them, but I really, really like the look of them. Like they're really well drawn and I really enjoyed it. So there's a short story called Guiding Light that takes place in this world that she also sent. And I'm really excited for that. I actually am starting to realize that I do enjoy short stories. 
more than I originally thought I did. So I'm actually very excited about this. And then my copy of Phantom's Lament, which is beefier than the previous book. So I'm very excited about the future of this series. It's the Shadows Creed saga. So yeah, we're primarily following a character named Kylo and Kylo is just on this amazing journey and I really just adore it. And I am so excited that this got sent as well. Cause when I heard about this, I'm like, oh, that would be fun. And I was trying to figure out how I was gonna do that, but it just came with. So thank you so much to Noelle Nichols and her team for sending this out to me. I feel so honored to be part of their team for this series because it's a really fun YA samurai centered series. It talks all about like, the way of the samurai and all those kinds of things like it's fantastic and this is signed by the way for anyone who's curious and so yes I am very very excited to continue to work with Noelle on this project because man I've really enjoyed my time with the series thus far I will probably reread Shadow's Hand before just to make sure everything's extra fresh and I have the best review for you guys Hi friends, so four packages arrived and I was only expecting one. So let's go ahead and open these together and we'll figure out what everything is. Cause I was only expecting, I ordered myself new pillowcases because I was just in desperate need. My other ones got stained with some makeup and they just looked dirty all the time. So I didn't want to do that. Okay, well this one has no receipt or notes. And I did not order these for myself, so somebody was very nice. Okay, it looks like some Zig, I think they're glue pens? Yes, they're squeeze and roll glue pens. There's three of those. And then two books. Oh, Queen Bev. We love Queen Bev in this house, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading another Queen Bev book. And then a Harlequin Presents, actually, and that's... Christmas in the King's Bed. Maybe I'll try to sneak it in before Christmas. We'll see. So I'm really confused. <laughs> so if that was you, please let me know. Cause man, those look amazing. Search for notes first. Notes, perfect. Aw, it's from Dylan, from Dynamic Dylan. <laughs> He even says stay sexy in his note. Dylan, I love you. That's his like handle at the end of his videos. Um, if you didn't know that. Oh my gosh, yay! So now I have a physical copy of Whisper Me a Love Song. I really loved and, and adored this. It was so sweet and so cute. And I'm really excited to own a copy. So thank you, Dylan. My heart. This was really sweet. It's about two girls in high school, a third year and a first year. The third year subs in for a band as the lead singer. The first year falls in love. They start to form a friendship. It becomes more. It's really cute. I really love it. All right, this is heavy. What the crap? I did not order anything heavy. I'm pretty sure these are the pillowcases, but we'll find out here in a minute because I have no idea what this is. Oh, good. I think I see a note. Holy pile of stuff. It's from Asia, and they didn't cut any of them, so they're all stuck together. Asia, this box is much more full than it should be, girl. Okay, this is one I've been really wanting to read, so I'm really excited, and it's A Witch's Love at the End of the World. This is a new fantasy Yuri title, so I'm really excited to try this. I don't know too much about it other than that, but I'm still... I'm still excited because I do want to read more um, LGBT centered relationships in manga. So I'm really excited for that. Yes, more Holic. I'm sure she's dying and really excited for me to read more because this is one of her favorite clamp series ever. And I read the first three a while back and loved it. I just have not gotten around the like the first omnibus. So the first three volumes, this has volumes four through six. And I'm really excited to read more Holic. That's going to be great. And girl, she got me BTS face masks. So guess who's gonna do some self care? Maybe I'll film it. I'm so excited. Yay. I'll be using obviously the dry combination ones. I don't really have oily, but I'm really excited. Yay. So exciting. 
Girl, you did way too much. And I'm pretty sure these are my pillowcases. They're just plain, so I will show you. If you're the person who sent me the Queen Bev and the Harlequin and the pens, tell me who you are. I want to know so I can properly paint you. Yes. They're just my pillowcases in this little package, but the package is oddly sized, so the box was overly big. They're just black. Really plain, boring pillowcases. Nothing fancy. But I figure if it's black, I'm most likely to stain it. <laughs> so yeah, they're just black silk. Nothing fancy. So yeah, that's it for this clip. And my friends are amazing. Thank y'all so much. My heart's so happy. Hi friends. So I had another delivery. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it here. Notes. Yay notes. Aww. This is from Maeve, from Maeve Ever Reading. Carol and Tuesday, I'm so excited. I have heard so much about this. My husband and I do want to watch the anime, so I'm really excited to have the manga. This is very much a music-centered story, and I'm very, very excited. And I believe they have a romance, so I am very excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to text her and say, I got it, thank you. But thank you, Maeve, you're an absolute gem. And I will give you your stuff in a couple days when I see you. So, yes. Hello. So, you can probably see my tree in the background here. Finally got that all set up. It's not plugged in yet, but I need to finish decorating it today. But another package arrived, so that's what we're doing here. Notes. Aw, this is from Christy Lou. We love Christy. Oh, yay! So this is volume 13 of Hatsuharu. This is the final volume. I'm so excited. Yay! I was thinking I was going to have to pick this one up just in January. But yes, I am so very, very excited for this volume. I'm probably going to go sit and read it like right now because honestly, I love this series a whole lot. And I want to see how the mangaka chose to end it. And I really hope we get more titles from this mangaka because I'm a fan. But again, thank you, Christy. You're a gem. Hi. Hello. We're here with more packages. I was expecting one, but there are two items here. So I don't know what is what I ordered and what is what someone else ordered. So we're going to open them and we're going to find out. So this is the one I had ordered. I had gotten a Amazon gift card. So I ordered a couple things. So I finally ordered me volume one of The Girl with the Sanpaku Eyes. This is one I've had my eye on all year, haven't picked up yet, but I wanted to pick it up and give it a go. I tend to like these ones where girls don't look conventionally pretty and they get love stories. It's really sweet, I really like it. <laughs> and then the other is I finally got my copy of volume nine of Beastars. I have read this already, but I was really wanting to get myself a physical copy. So I'm really excited to have that. So clearly this one is a gift. So let's dive into this. All right, note, note. Aw, it's from Melissa. Melissa from over at Melissa Reads. I love Melissa, one of my favorite humans. And, ooh, it has a step back. This is Along Came the Duke by Elizabeth Boyle. <gasps> that step back, look at it. It's so pretty. Um, I know this one was on my list, but I'm trying to remember why. <laughs> oh, it's a spinster. I like spinsters. I don't know why. I like their stories. I like them getting love. So I'm very, very excited. Thank you, Melissa. I'm so excited. This was on my wish list, I know. So I'm very excited. All right. That's it for this clip. I'm not sure if we'll have many more clips. We'll find out. I'll do an official outro once I know we're done, which will be Christmas Eve. Um, I'll be doing them all till then because you guys will see this Christmas morning. So if anything else shows up in the next couple of days, I'll be back. But that's it for now. Hi, friends. Shayla here. So I am here for the final clip of this vlog. I had one more package arrive today, and then my nephews got me a book, and we exchanged gifts on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to show you guys what that is. So he got, they got me Love and Olives. 
Um, this is the third book in this trilogy that Jen Evans Welch wrote. The first one being Love and Gelato. I've really enjoyed the other two installments, so I'm really looking forward to this one. It's also the longest of the three, so I'm really interested to see what they do, and I believe this one takes place in Greece, so I'm very, very excited. And then, I don't know who this is from, so let's figure this out together. Yay, notes. This is part one of two. Hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas, lady, from April Sarah. So apparently another part will be coming. You'll just have to see that in another clip because I'm wrapping this up tonight. Oh, this is great. So this is When He Was Wicked by Julia Quinn. This is part of the Bridgerton series. I've slowly been collecting the series. I've got two books left to get in this series, and then I'll have the entire collection. So I'm very, very excited. Thank you, April, for helping me complete my Bridgerton collection. So... Anyways, guys, you have all been far too generous to me this Christmas season. I feel so spoiled and so loved by each and every one of you. Like, my heart just overflows with everything that I feel for all of you. This has been overwhelming and lovely and just such a lovely way to spend the season. So, thank you all so much. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, put a present emoji in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.